Each year, about 200,000 women undergo amniocentesis to look for genetic abnormalities in their unborn child. While the procedure is safe, it's an invasive test for mom and comes with a slightly higher risk of miscarriage. In amniocentesis, it's done um, under ultrasound guidance, and basically there's a small needle that we place through the abdomen of the mom into the amniotic sac and we draw off um, some fluid out of the sac and send that for evaluation. Usually done in the first trimester, amniocentesis assesses genetic defects along with lung maturity, infection, and other issues, including RH compatibility. And that's considered a definitive testing not only for trisomy 21, 18, or 13, but also for other genetic um, syndromes that we can't test with the maternity 21. Now some doctors and moms are opting for a newer blood test, one called maternity 21 that can be given earlier in pregnancy without the stomach stick. That's actually just a blood draw from the mom. Anytime after 10 weeks of gestation, what it's looking for is cell-free DNA of fetal origin in the maternal circulation. And they that, that's how can, we can draw it from the maternal blood and send it for evaluation. Needless, yes, but there are some sticking points. The blood test only evaluates three genetic sequences, ranging from an extremely precise view of trisomy 21, which is Down syndrome, to a less accurate read on trisomy 13. There is always the option later, if the maternity 21 comes back abnormal, of proceeding with an invasive test to kind of further confirm anything from there. Maternity 21 is still in its infancy, but many women with high-risk pregnancies are happy for its arrival. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.